In this video, I will show you the detailed operation of an operational amplifier by a stable multivibrator circuit. So at first, let me talk about what is a bi-stable multivibrator. The word bi means two. Therefore, bi-stable, that means our output voltage will be stable at any of the two output states. See, the bi-stable multivibrator has two stable states. As the multivibrator has only two states, therefore, it will have no quasi-stable state the output has two stable states what does it mean see the output of this by stable multivibrator will have two states either plus v set or minus v set if we get the output voltage at plus v set the output voltage of the by stable multivibrator will retain this plus v set at its output terminal for indefinite time period therefore i can say the output voltage can stay at any of the stable states that means if the output voltage is at plus v set or at minus v set it can stay at that stable state indefinitely unless we apply an external triggering pulse now for the sake of argument let's say i have this output voltage at plus v set therefore if i apply an external triggering pulse this triggering pulse will cause a transition in the output voltage to another stable state that means because of the application of our applied voltage our output voltage will have a transition from this plus v set to minus v set level it will be stable at this minus v set voltages also so this will be also known as minus v set see an external triggering pulse causes a transition in the output voltage to another stable state and it can stay at that state indefinitely okay now if i apply a second external triggering pulse that voltage or that external pulse will bring back the output voltage to its previous stable states that means due to the application of second triggering pulse our output voltage will have a transition from minus v set to plus v set level and it will stay at this plus v set level indefinitely whatever the output voltage either plus v set or minus v set our operational amplifier will retain that voltage at its output terminal as long as we supply the power in the operational amplifier circuit that's why this is known as bi-stable multivibrator see this bi-stable multivibrator is also known as flip-flop see one triggering pulse causes the multivibrator to flip from one state to another plus v set to minus v set and the next pulse causes it to flop back to its original state second triggering pulse will restore its plus v set level this is why it is known as flip flop we can use the memory analogy of this flip flop we know that a flip flop is a circuit which is stored one bit at a time and you will see that the output of this bi stable multivibrator will be stable at either plus v set or minus v set level that means it can store one bit of information into its output terminal that's why we can also call this bi stable multivibrator as a flip flop circuit see if this is the block of a bi stable multivibrator therefore let's say initially our output voltage is stable at this plus v set level output voltage is stable that means it will not change with time at this instant let's say I, ha I have applied this positive triggering pulse t1 now our output voltage will have a transition from this plus v set to minus v set level and our output voltage of this bi stable multivibrator will be stable at, at this minus v set level also now let's say at this instant i have applied this negative triggering pulse t2 therefore our output voltage will have a transition from this minus v set to plus v set level also sorry this is a triggering pulse t2 now let me describe the operation of a operational amplifier by stable multivibrator circuit this is the circuit configuration of an operational amplifier by stable multivibrator circuit and here you will see that i will apply a triggering input at the inverting terminal through this capacitor c the output terminal is connected to the non-inverting terminal of the operational amplifier therefore the circuit is in positive feedback and we know that when the operational amplifier is in positive feedback its output voltage will be either at plus v set or minus v set level as the circuit uses positive feedback when our vp this vp will be greater than vn that means when our vd differential input voltage vp minus vn will be positive 
our output voltage will be plus V set when our differential input voltage VD will be equal to negative that means VP will be less than VN see when VP will be less than VN that means this term, term is greater than this term therefore our differential input voltage will be negative and our output voltage will be minus V set and here you will see that this output voltage will form a feedback loop through this output to non-inverting to ground terminal like this if this is our output terminal you will see we will have a feedback loop from this output to non-inverting terminal to ground terminal therefore the voltage at non-inverting terminal will be VP as R1 and R2 will divide will form a voltage divider network I can calculate VP using by this formula R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into VO this VO will act as an output voltage source so our VP will be equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into output voltage VO now let me describe the operation of this by stable multifabrator circuit initially there will be no triggering input therefore VN will be equal to zero now let's say in the circuit I have supplied this plus VS and this minus VS voltage sources therefore a small amount of output voltage will be appeared between the output and this ground terminal so the voltage at this non-inverting terminal VP will be equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into V O O T ok R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into V O O T output offset voltage now if I consider this output offset voltage is a small positive quantity and usually the output offset voltage will be in millivolt range if this is a positive quantity therefore our VP will have a positive value and this VP will have a small finite value that means I will have a very small voltage between this terminal to this ground terminal as this VP is a small positive quantity and this Vn equal to 0 therefore our differential input voltage Vd will be equal to VP minus Vn will be positive due to the large gain of the operational amplifier our output voltage will be at this plus V set level ok our output voltage will be at plus V set level so our output voltage will be plus V set and when our output voltage will be plus V set voltage the voltage at the non inverting terminal will be equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into plus V set which will be a positive quantity that means when our output voltage will be fixed at this plus V set level as there is no input at this uh, inverting terminal our differential input voltage will retain its positive value therefore our output voltage will be fixed at this plus V set level that means if I don't apply any external triggering pulse this output voltage will be stable at this plus V set level therefore this is a stable state for our multi vibrator circuit that means if I don't apply any triggering pulse output voltage will be at plus V set level forever or for indefinite time now let's say at this instant I have applied a triggering pulse positive triggering pulse and the value of this triggering pulse is such that V T triggering pulse positive going triggering pulse the magnitude of triggering pulse is greater than the value of R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into plus V set and you will see that due to the application of this triggering pulse our differential input voltage see this triggering pulse is applied at this inverting terminal and the magnitude of the voltage at this inverting terminal will be greater than the magnitude of the voltage at the non inverting terminal that means Vn will be greater than Vp therefore our differential input voltage will be 
negative value and when our differential input voltage will be negative due to the positive feedback our output voltage will be at minus V set level and you will see that at this point after the at the instant we are applying this triggering pulse our output voltage will have a transition from plus V set to minus V set level and when the output voltage VO will be equal to minus V set our voltage at the non inverting terminal will be equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into minus V set which will be a negative quantity so when our output voltage will be at minus V set it will be fixed at this level and this will be stable at this minus V set state therefore the voltage at this non inverting terminal will be VP equal to a negative quantity when the non inverting terminal voltage will be a negative quantity if I don't apply any external triggering pulse our output voltage will be stable at this minus V set state now if I want to make the differential input voltage positive this VP is a negative quantity if I apply a no more negative voltage at this inverting terminal this will make the negative into negative into a positive quantity therefore our out differential input voltage will be a positive positive quantity and due to positive feedback our output voltage will be plus V set level so let's at this instant I have applied a po negative triggering pulse and the magnitude of this negative triggering pulse is greater than the voltage at the non inverting terminal therefore as the as the voltage at the non inverting terminal is more negative than this no negative non inverting terminal voltage our differential input voltage will be positive therefore due to positive saturation our output voltage will be plus V set see as due to the application of this negative triggering pulse now our output voltage will have a transition from minus V set to plus V set level and if I don't apply any external triggering pulse our output voltage will be stable at this plus V set level that means it can stay at this level forever now if I repeat the same thing if I apply any positive triggering pulse our output voltage will have a transition from plus V set to minus V set if I apply another negative triggering pulse our output voltage will have a transition from this minus V set to plus V set level and you will see as both of these st states are stable or output can retain this plus V set or minus V set state forever if I don't apply any external triggering pulse therefore this is known as bi stable multi vibrator circuit okay that's it thank you